Imagining something as old as our universe can be very difficult, but believe it or not, it exists, and in this video, I want to explain it to you in depth. So be prepared and pay attention because this curious case will blow your mind. This is Into Space. A newly discovered ancient star is so old that it predates the universe itself. The galaxy, which dates back 13.8 billion years from now, was detected using a new telescope. When measuring time before the Big Bang, scientists usually use something called a cosmic clock to determine how far back in time events took place. That clock measures the rate at which galaxies are moving away from us due to the expansion of space-time, and it tells us that everything we see today was created after this event occurred. The age of the galaxy was calculated by the University of Oklahoma, using data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope. The galaxy is 13.8 billion years old, according to calculations by the University of Oklahoma which is more than 200 million years older than the universe itself. The local group of galaxies is a group of about 54 galaxies that are gravitationally bound together. The Milky Way is part of this group, along with the Andromeda Galaxy and other smaller galaxies. It's possible that in 1 billion years, the Great Attractor will pull it out of our local group as well. The reason for this, researchers say, is because the star appears to be made only of elements created in the Big Bang. We didn't expect to find a population of stars with essentially no heavy elements at all, said the University of Texas at Austin astronomer Anna Frebel. It would be like seeing an iPod Touch from 2006 or an iPad to it just doesn't make sense. Well, we need to know how stars form. There are many questions about the life cycle of stars. But one thing is for sure they don't just appear out of nowhere. There are several steps that must happen before a star will form. Gravity is the force that pulls objects together and keeps them from flying apart. It's a force that acts between any two objects with mass, including you and me. Because gravity pulls on everything equally, it can be used to explain why stars form and stay together. The interstellar medium-ism is the gas and dust that exists between the stars in our galaxy. This medium is composed of atoms and molecules in a plasma state, which emits radiation when excited by energetic particles. The ism contains about one-tenth of all matter in the universe, with total mass being approximately equivalent to 100 billion times the mass of our sun. Gravity pulls gas and dust together, forming a prototype, the prototype contracts further, increasing its temperature. The star reaches the main sequence phase and stays there for a long time. Stars form when a cloud of gas and dust collapses under its own gravity. As the cloud falls inward, it begins to spin faster and faster, flattening into a disk shape. The disks are covered in clouds of gas and dust that form clumps of matter called protostars. Gravity pulls these protostars together until they can no longer resist their pull, at which point they collapse into new stars. We have seen that stars form when a group of gas and dust clump together under the influence of gravity. This process is called accretion, and it results in an object known as a prototype. Eventually, protostars grow large enough for their internal pressure to become strong enough for nuclear fusion reactions to begin. At this point, they become true stars. HD 140,283 was first recorded by James Edward Keeler in 1890, who spotted it at the Lick Observatory on Mount Hamilton, California. Keeler was a famous astronomer and discovered more than 50 novae, 300 variable stars, and several comets during his lifetime. The observatory he used to discover HD 140,283 still exists today as part of UC Berkeley's Department of Astronomy. It sits atop 4,200 foot 1,300 meters high Mount Hamilton in Northern California. This star is a red giant, a star that has exhausted most of its hydrogen and is beginning to fuse helium in its core. The surface of this star is cooler than the sun's, but deep inside it, there are regions where temperatures exceed 100 million degrees Celsius, 180 million Fahrenheit. 
Under those conditions, carbon and oxygen combine to form calcium and magnesium, which then combine with silicon to create iron-rich atoms like iron, nickel, and cobalt. This process releases an enormous amount of energy that causes the outer layers of these stars to puff up into red giants or super giants before ultimately collapsing under their own gravity until they become white dwarfs. They also give off large amounts of ultraviolet light, which enables them to form new elements at such high temperatures, such as deuterium, that would otherwise be destroyed by nucleus synthesis during normal stellar evolution processes. The star, HD 140,283, is one of the oldest stars in our local group of galaxies. It's 13.8 billion years old. The star appears to have lost much of its heavier elements due to late hot bottom burning in its red giant phase. This means that it is mostly composed of elements created in the Big Bang and not what stars made later on. In addition to the discovery of HD 140,283, another star has been discovered that is even older. This star is 18 billion years old and has a mass of about 10 times that of our Sun. The age of this star indicates it formed soon after the Big Bang, when the universe was still a hot plasma. The composition and structure of this ancient star are still unknown but its existence suggests there could be other stars with different compositions or structures than we currently know about. These might help us understand how the early universe evolved over time and will continue to inform our understanding as we explore more distant galaxies in Hubble's Frontier Field Survey. But what if we want to know more about these stars? Perhaps they could tell us more about the very early universe or maybe even provide evidence of life on other planets. With further research, we could learn all sorts of interesting new things. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and let us know what you thought about this ancient star in the comment box. This was Into Space. See you in the next video.